Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. Welcome, welcome back. We are still confidently in Kamurocho. We cannot go back to Okinawa, and yesterday we spent some time doing some sub-stories, chilling out, and generally just kind of checking boxes before we continue with the story, because you never know. I feel like we're kind of getting a little bit later into things here with things being revealed and such. So, might as well be careful and, you know, only uh, do so many things without trying to advance. Uh, well, maybe not only doing, but but doing doing a bunch of things, actually, before you advance, because you never know when things will go awry and you can't go back. So, we're going to do that a little bit more today. We haven't really done many mini games at all, so any obvious sub-stories on the map we will take care of. And besides that, we could try to do some things like darts and, and anything else going on around the town. So, let's see what you got here for me. An old magazine, eh? Alright, we'll take it, we'll take it. So, let's take a look at our map here. We do have one visible substory, so we can head across the street to do that much. And then after that, let's do some mini games because those are a lot of fun for me. So, let's see what this substory has to offer us. Will it be an automatic trigger? Will it be someone we have to talk to? I'm not really seeing anyone kind of on the street to at least chat with here, so hopefully it just triggers. Oh my god, no, there's a person here. There's definitely a person. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of asshole runs out on his bill in this day and age? What happened? Ugh, just another dine and dasher. This guy eats every flavor of gelato we have, and then he's out the door. Oh, there he is. I wonder why he's waiting there. <laughs> I love it. We have the same dine and dasher again. Wish I could leave the shop and go after him. Hey, could you chase him down for me? I just want to slap that creep. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to chase the Dine and Dasher 100%. All right, I just need to catch him, right? You'll do it? Great! You're a stand-up guy. Well, when you catch him, bring him here. I'll give him the punishment he deserves. All right, let's catch ourselves a Dine and Dasher. I wonder if he's going to get, uh, well, he has actually quite a bit of experience here compared, well, HP, I should say. There we go. I just did not want to run into the pole there, but it looks like we're doing pretty good against him right now. I didn't think he would turn, but that's okay. We'll catch up with him pretty easily. Oh, pretty easily here. He's definitely going to have to cut this corner. Oh, shit. We definitely fell behind a bit, but the game let us catch up a decent amount. I was wondering if he's going to throw that cone at us, actually. Come on, come on. We'll catch him on the turn there. Perfect. Love the Dine and Dasher, dude. He always has the money, so what's the real, real story here? Ugh, ugh, damn it. This time, it was like you were trying to get me to chase you. What were you thinking? Nobody's ever chased after me like you do. There aren't enough Dine and Dash pros like me left in this world. Dine and Dash pros? I mean, it's hard to run on a full stomach, and even if you get away, you end up hungry again from all the exercise. It's hard being a Dine and Dash pro. You know what it's like, right? Uh, then why don't you quit? Then just quit dining and dashing. Think about how it affects the shops you raid. You're right! I'm done. No more dining and dashing for me. After all, I've never been able to escape you. <laughs> good. Glad to hear it. I think it's time I left on a journey for myself. Have a good life. I don't think we'll ever meet again. If you're leaving, make sure you pay what you owe. Oh, I almost forgot! Yeah, you better have forgotten. Because I want to make you pay. The cost of your gelato comes to 7,000 yen, so let's see the cash. Now! Okay. If you've got the cash, then just pay the damn bill in the first place. What, are you just doing this for kicks? Oh. I... I'm sorry. Don't ever show your face here again. <laughs> and you. You've earned this. Seriously, I'm grateful. Even if I'm still pissed off. I got a stamina and spark? Hell yeah, dude. We'll take that 110%. Let's see if we can... We can probably just drop one of these uh, double X's here. They are an inferior item. But that's fine. Another dine and... Oh, what's going on? Why do I feel so weird? Is it indigestion? But... I can't stop thinking about that shop manager. What is this? Is this it? Is Kamarocha's era of dining and dashing finally over? We could take the 5,000 experience points there. 
we may not be able to level up, but you know what, actually, while we're here, let's enter and eat a little bit, considering that, uh, it's weird that we get, oh, I was gonna say the look function over there. We'll just eat some gelato here. We actually got the quadruple before. We're not gonna get a ton of XP or, uh, HP back, I'd imagine. Yeah, enough to want to eat a little bit more, which is fine. We're gonna have to eventually eat at all of the restaurants anyways. Double scoop will get us even less, I'd imagine. Yeah, clearly not. Man, only... I'll put those men usually the one who's more by them. Too embarrassed to buy it themselves, I suppose, but they can't resist their love of gelato in the end. Guess even hardened businessmen love gelato. I should remember this when I'm over at the cabaret club. Shit. I kind of skipped through some advice there because I wasn't paying attention, but that's fine. It's fine. I was just about to remark that not being able to order multiple things off the menu is, like, really, really annoying. But, uh, that's fine. We'll just keep on eating until we're done. You know, not now that we've gotten drunk, we can go and eat some ice cream. I think that's, like, the perfect way for Kiryu to enjoy the, the rest of him being drunk here. And I actually wonder if that is the last we're going to see of the dine and dasher guy. If he falls in love with the shop manager, something tells me he's going to want to dine and dash to make her notice him even more, you know what I mean? But we'll find out. We're probably going to run out of like HP uh, space before we finish this restaurant, which kind of stinks, but that's fine. We'll save the last scoop for vanilla for the end here. Maybe we can force a fight or something like that. But we'll find out. Either way, not bad. Another sub story off of the list. We've done pretty good with completion so far. Actually, one thing that I haven't shown is uh, going back to Komaki now that it's been a little bit of story. But we do have another sub story over here. So let's see what's going on. I'm not seeing. Oh, I do see. Oh, damn it. Honestly, this is probably okay because then we can eat food to heal up later. We'll end up getting hit, I'm sure, eventually. And as you can see, I've fixed the weird controller glitch I was getting with all that other weird stuff. Okay, I wanted to actually... That's fine. This is what I wanted to pick up. Beautiful. Love it. Wow, he actually blocked me. I'm a bit surprised there. Thinking maybe I can get that flag out of the ground, but not the case. We'll just get a pretty basic throw to finish this guy off. But I do see some guy there that doesn't look like a Dine and Dasher, so maybe it is a different substory altogether. Resonate. Right to the item box for our modifications for later. But let's see what this guy is all about here. Excuse me, aren't you Kiryu-san? It's me, Kitagawa, the Mars fighter, remember? You helped set me straight back in Sotenbori about two years back. Kitagawa? Mars fighter? Oh, right. You really saved my bacon. I killed it at the Grand Prix, and I finally hit it big in Tokyo. Glad to hear it. You back in Kamurocho on personal business? Huh? No, I'm on the clock, buddy. We're shooting a drama right nearby. What, do I look like I'm on vacation, Kiryu-san? Well, I thought you always worked with a partner, but I don't see him around. Oh, you mean Minamizawa. Yeah, things aren't exactly going smooth there. Something happened? Well, everything was great until when we debuted as the Mars Fighters about a year back. But six months after, Minamizawa up and vanished. He didn't leave you any kind of clue about where he was going? Not a one. Honestly, doing variety show gigs in Tokyo isn't exactly a glamorous life, so maybe he decided enough was enough. Me? I'll take whatever work pays the bills, but you know how Minamizawa was st set on sticking to manzai comedy. I remember, yeah. Since he left, I've been getting on, or getting by on talk show appearances and TV dramas, but I'm worried about the guy. Whenever I get a break between gigs, I pick up the search for him again. Just yesterday, I heard someone spotted him in Kamurocho, so here I am. But, well, no sign of him. I want to do manzai comedy with him again, but until I can, I gotta keep working, so our audience never forgets the Mars Fighters. I see. Look, Kiryu-san, if you spot Minamizawa around town, you want to give me a call? Take my number in one of his recent picks. Huh. It kind of looks like a, a barker of some sort. All right. I'll call you if I find Minamizawa. Thanks. Thank you so much. Kitagawa-san, it's almost time. Ah, uh, jeez, already? 
Okay, I got a shoot coming up, so I gotta run. Sorry to drag you into this, but please, keep an eye out for him. That's certainly something that we can do for you. Let's see, nothing pops up on the map here, so it looks like we're actually gonna have to manually find him. And the other interesting element that I haven't really... Did I just despawn an entire street full of people? One of a, one of them being a thug that I'd have to fight? That's, uh... Kiryu's getting pretty strong, man, I'll tell you what. But, uh, speaking of things that I need to note... Oh! Hey, asshole! Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna run after me. But, one thing, like I said, to keep in mind, we still have that weird murder mystery thing that I haven't been able to resolve at all. I haven't found anyone involved in that process. So I haven't been able to do anything much at all, which is kind of weird. Oh, I definitely want this guy over here. Beautiful. I thought maybe I would throw him into his pals. Ouch. There we go. Well, that's that's the vanilla ice cream scoop there for us. If we uh, are so inclined. I thought maybe I could get extra damage from the bound attack. That's fine. We'll take the uh, pretty basic kills there. Another non-monetary reward, which I don't mind once again. But hey, okay, so yeah, this, this murder mystery thing is going to be kind of weighing on me a little bit here, because I just have no clue what it entails. Okay, you know what? There's a lot of fighting going on here, and it's probably because I'm drunk. I don't have any hangover stuff with me, but that's fine. We're fighting this guy named Adachi, which... Uh, if people have played the Yakuza games, that name should look a little familiar. Oh. This guy thinks he can punch through my block here, which, uh, not the case. Beautiful. Okay. Another fight down. I was just going to suggest that maybe, perhaps, we look through the files again. And that maybe that will bring somebody to our attention, or like it, the game hasn't told us any locations of anyone. So the way to do that is go to items. But first of all, you can like check out other things we have here too. But like Wakazo's notebook here. Once again, like it has profiles like the lead detective, and we read through everything, but for some reason it doesn't give us much of a sense of where to go, who works where, if somebody's going to be present at a place at a certain time. So I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue of sort of showing up and getting lucky when somebody's around or just exploring the town until something triggers. But either way, it's kind of odd per se. But hey, look, it's Mac! Huh. Oh. What's crack a lack in here, you son? I, uh, not much, Mac. You ever get the perfect shot you were looking for? Can't say I did. I've been scouring every last corner of this town, but all I've come up with is a big fat fistfuls of nothing. Sorry to hear that. I guess you can't expect opportunity to just fall into your lap, though. Let me know if I can help. Appreciate that to heaven and high above, Kiryu-san. Hey, by the way, you mentioned some place you wanted to take me last time? Think you can elaborate? Oh, oh snap, Kiryu-san. That whole thing just up and slipped my mind. You bet I'll elaborate. It's the hippest, swankiest, rough and tumblest joint this side of the Sea of Japan, and it's yours truly. Just so happens to have a buddy bringing home the bacon over there. You're saying he works there, right? Dang, Skippy. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you what it's called. Purgatory. Kind of scary sounding, huh? Did you just say purgatory? Look, I know the name kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies, but don't doubt good old Mac. I haven't breathed a sweeter sip of air than when I first stepped foot in that place. Anyway. I get the feeling my perfect shot's just around the corner. And by around the corner, I of course mean through some weird door in a bathroom stall. Well, curious son, gotta run. I'll tell my purgatory pal you're coming, so stop by if you can muster up the courage. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna get a picture while we fight somebody either in the Coliseum or in the concrete area. He's... something. I guess I could swing by purgatory when I have the time. Well, I certainly... I certainly could. But I first have to pay this guy his protection fee. What is that protection fee, you might ask? Well, it involves me putting my knuckles into his mouth. Um, in no uncertain terms, I will be knocking him unconscious. Well, actually, no, it'd be uncertain because 
typically that's the guy that ends up paying you. But that's fine. You think you can duck under my blows, huh? Not gonna happen. Ooh. There we go. Right on top of your buddy. Perfect. 45 experience points. Eventually we'll be upgrading something. There's the 10k. Okay, we finally got some cash here. Somebody was talking about... Oh, this group here was talk. Wait! This is the guy! Hey, are you... Kiryu-san? Is that really you? It's me! You know me! Jeez, I haven't seen you in ages! Remember? I mean Namizawa, from the Marsh Fighters! We got out of that mess together two years ago, right? It was your mess to begin with. Hey, don't just shut me down. At least do it with a solid comeback, would you? Like, you two were the ones who messed with me. Get some wordplay in there. Well, you haven't changed much. Anyway, I heard you've been missing for about half a year. Where'd you hear that? I ran into Kitagawa earlier. You've got him worried. He's been looking for you. Oh, he's definitely thinking about this. Hey, hold on a sec. Is that true? Yeah, once Kitagawa heard Minamizawa was in Kamurocho, he dropped everything and came straight here. Hey, Minamizawa, buddy. You probably ought to head back, huh? Sounds like Kitagawa was worried sick about you. That's right, man. You don't have to be stubborn. Just go find your friend, apologize, and get back to being a team. Get off my back. Um, I'm Minamizawa, the Marsh Fighter. Why should I apologize to my equal, my partner, just because we ain't a team anymore? Besides, now that I'm gone, Kitagawa's doing better than ever. Even if I went back, there's no way our old agency would let us get back together. I'd just be dragging him down. Man. It's clear Kitagawa wants to do Manzai with me and Amizawa. Maybe I'll give him a call. Yeah, bring him over. Hey, hold it! Kiryu-san, you're not gonna call Kitagawa, are you? That's what I promised him. Now that I've found you, I have to let him know. I can't let you do that. Man, I... I can't face him right now. Fine. If you're so set on calling him, I guess I got no choice. Sorry, Kiryu-san, but it's time for a real punchline. No way! I've gotta fight him? That's not gonna bode well for him. But I, I got the cute, uh... Song for this, so... <laughs> I couldn't even do a smash combo on him. The fuck out of here. Ugh. Why didn't you guys help me? Have you seen this guy? He ain't just some street thug. Only you'd be stupid enough to pick a fight with a real beast, Minamizawa. Why do I even pay you guys? <laughs> now we're straight up just calling Kitagawa. Hey, Kitagawa, I found Minamizawa. We're around West Park. You'll see us when you get here. Ugh. How am I gonna face Kitagawa now? There's nothing more worthless than a Manzai comedian who can't Manzai. Kitagawa knows exactly how you feel. What? Kitagawa's always wanted to do more Manzai, just like you. He's been looking for you all this time. Kiryu-san, you gotta help me. Would you play the straight man to my funny man? After so long out of the game, my comedy edge might have gotten rusty. I gotta sharpen up. If I can't even hack a joke, I'll never be able to look Kitagawa in the eye again. Why me? I'm begging you, man. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm gonna get back into comedy if it kills me. Please, you're my last chance to get my Manzai groove back. Just this once. Thanks a million. Here we go. Give me something snappy. Reactive, know what I mean? Did I ever tell you I've been training for a marathon across Japan? How do I give a comeback to that? You've got to be kidding me. You, uh, got to be kidding me. Nope. No good. Your heart's not in it, buddy. You're too self-conscious. I don't want, know what you expected. I'm not an entertainer, you know. What the? What are you doing? Oh, well, I... You told me I was the only straight man you'd ever need. Kitagawa. That's the only reason I've been on these stupid dramas and talk shows. I don't want anyone to forget the Marsh Fighters. All it took was a couple blogs saying we can't improv or our reactions were too weak and you just ran off. I thought... I thought you wanted to do Manzai with me. And now you give up after one or two schmucks heckle us? Kitagawa, I... I... I want to do Manzai with you again. Would you be my partner just one more time? Stand up, Minamizawa. You'll always be my partner. <laughs> Why'd the audio cut? Kitagawa! And so the duo's friendship turned to love. Their married couple-style Manzai routine gave birth to years of joyous laughter. Wait. 
Why am I stuck getting married to you? Ah, crap. <laughs> Kiryu-san, this will be the second time you've saved us. Thanks for everything. Hey, we make a pretty good team. Maybe we ought to form a comedy trio. What do you say? Please, no. <laughs> ha ha ha. Well, I'll head back to the office. Time to convince my agent to let us get the band back together. Oh, and take this. It's the least I could do to thank you. You've got Minami Zawa's autograph. Wait. It's just... Oh, we're probably gonna have to sell it, right? Let's see. Can we get rid of... We haven't really used... Get this toughness Z out of here. Thanks, Kiryu-san. Watch out for us, because the Mars fighters are aiming for the stars. See you around. All right. 5k. We take those. And since we're right near... Okay, first of all, let's actually inspect the item in our inventory here. Why can't we hit the start button? That was weird. So let's check our items. I'm assuming that we can sell this. He's part of a comedy that's really popular in Osaka these days. We can't use it, so I'm assuming, once again, that it's a sellable item. So let's head to Purgatory, see what all the hubbub is that Mac wanted us to be involved with here. Will the perfect shot be here, or will it be elsewhere? I can't see... Oh, no, Mac is standing outside over there. Perfect. Oh, what does he have for me? Oh, this is the guy that, like, sells some weird shit, which is we don't need right now. So let's go over to Mac and see what's going on. I'm sure we're going to have to fight somebody out here, right? Like, right? Kiyosan. Kiyosan. Just the guy I wanted to see. And conveniently, one of the only dudes who even knows about this place. Yeah, here I am. Yeah. Well, without further ado, it's time you get acquainted with that friend I was telling you about. Come on out here, Okuda-san. Oh. Hey, Mac. This the guy? Hold on a second. You're one of Majima's men, aren't you? I... Er, oh, Kiryu-san. Mac said his new pal was a tough cookie, but I would never have guessed it to be you. Anyway, the name's Akuda. I supervise the construction around here. Though, as you can see, there isn't... There hasn't been much of that going on as of late. Hold up, you two know each other? Oh, er, Mac, this guy, he's the dri... You can stop right there. Of course, sir. Man, I just knew you two'd get along like peas in a pod. Heck, you're practically wearing the same threads, too. Heh. <laughs> Always the optimist. So, what are we doing here? The whole place looks kind of... Empty? <laughs> Empty! Maybe for now. Bring it out, Akuta-san. Aye, aye, Mac. Training formation A. Move out. Oh, shit. Yes, sir! Do we actually fight, like, gauntlets here? So, Kiryu-san, is it everything you ever hoped and dreamed? I... I don't know what to say. It's incredible. All for Mac and his perfect shot. My boys have been working their routines, trying to get the setup just right. I had no idea you'd be lending a hand with this, too, Kiryu-san. It hit me like a flash of lightning to the skull when I saw the way you run, Kiryu-san. It was like... I don't know why, but it felt like you were gonna be my one-way ticket to that perfect shot I've been after. So you mind running some more? You know, get the camera juices flowing. I guess it couldn't hurt. In this town, you never know when you might need to chase someone down. Am I just going to be running by myself, though? There's the 10 billion yen question. Oh shit, I'm chasing after Mac. The thick and thin of it is, Kiryu-san. I'm going to be run, run, running away. And I want you to catch, catch, catch me. You sure? I'm pretty fast, you know. Pfft, <laughs> no problem at all. I used to live among a herd of gazelle on the African plains, and my being here is proof enough that I outran every lion I ever came across. That's... an interesting way to train. Anyway, sure. I'll help you get this perfect shot. You will? Thank you! Oh, thank you, Kiryu-san. Just give me a holler when you want to run. If you beat me, I'll teach you some of the most esoteric secrets I learned in my world of travels. <laughs> I can't think of a better reward. Looking forward to it, Mac. Actually, this is exactly what I wanted. I needed to do some more training. Let's talk to Okuda first. Oh, Kiryu-san. Hey, Okuda. Think we're gonna need to train again, if you don't mind. Oh, no problem at all. Construction is not slated to start, well, technically ever, so we're in the clear. I'm sure the boss will be thrilled to l for you to lend a hand, too. I have to say, I never thought Max's friend would end up being a Majima family henchman. You two make an interesting pair. You'd be surprised how often we hear that. Want to know how we first met? It was at a smoky bar in a back alley in Kamurocho. I've been arguing with the old ball and chain back home, so I was sulking hard. Went the only place I knew I could get some peace and quiet. 
But then some guy started going off about a foreigner who spilled a drink on him. Clearly this asshole was just trying to pick a fight with a, the out-of-towner. I don't know if it was my mood or because it was my turf, but I felt obligated to help the poor foreigner out. And as you might have guessed, that foreigner was Mac. We got to talking right after, and he spent the rest of the night regaling me with tall tales of all the places around the world he's gone searching for the perfect shot. I guess we just hit it off, you know? Makes sense, too. I've got a pretty big travel bug myself. That's incredible. Long story short, we always get together and toss a few back when Mac's in town. And now I'm going to do whatever it takes to help him get that shot he's been after all these years. Anyway, feel free to come by whenever you want. Thanks, Okuda. Well, yeah, let's definitely train. Like I said, I wanted to finally get one of these, like, training scenarios going. Howdy there, Kiryu son. What flavor of Mac you looking for today? Let's do, uh, training A. Why not? Okie dokie. We're ready to groove, Okuda san. Just a second. Because I want to start learning more skills and, like, filling out Kiryu a little bit more before we move on. You pumped for this, Kiryu san? Well, you better be. I got a big honking present for you if you can smash the record. Good luck. Is this just, uh, catching him in 20, 20 seconds? Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I will do my best. I'll certainly try. How much damage am I doing? Probably not enough. Can we actually? We're definitely not going to get him in 20. But we can definitely catch him around these corners, even though we probably took that one a little bit sharp. Oh, we're never going to get the record. Oh, fuck. There's no way we're going to do this in 30 seconds unless we get strong or something. Like... Doing more damage on sort of successive hits, if that makes sense. But there's no way we broke the record. Absolutely not. You really burned my rubber out there, Kyu san. I knew if anyone was going to run me down, it was you. One last technique for you. Got the special from an Irish Wiccan in the Emerald Fields. Or was it that hippie in California? You could smell the peace mobile coming a mile away, let me tell you. Anyway, breathe in extra deep. And keep that air on lockdown up in your lungs. Channel your inner hippie, you know? And that's all you gotta do. Your chase gauge is increased. This will let you continue chase sequences for longer than before. Pop on by when you want to run again. I definitely want to run again. Let's see. Once again, like, we... I guess we beat it within 35. We're flipping the script in this one. Instead of you coming for me, it'll be me biting at your ankles. Oh, let's definitely escape to win. Okie dokie. We're ready to groove, Okuda-san. Just a second. Interesting. You pump for this, Kiryu-san? Well, you better be. I'll give you a be a beautiful little present if you can beat me out there. Good luck. All right, so we definitely have to run and just make sure we hit our quick time events, I'm assuming. Keep running until your pursuer is too tired to keep chasing you. If their energy gauge runs out before yours does, you win. It will gradually decrease during the chase. So, yeah, we're just going to make sure he can't catch me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Oh, shit. Okay, so that just lowers my chase gauge, which is fine. Honestly, it might be better that we caught him into this corner now that... Now that we're on the true run from him here. So we're running him down. As you can see, it's this isn't too bad at all, actually. Come to think of it. Alright, we'll just mash out of it. We probably have to do a little bit better with sharper turns and like jumps over objects, I'd imagine, because pant, pant. Yeah, we ran out of them. I'm all out of juice. Looks like my goose is cooked. You really burned my rubber out there, Kiryu san. I knew if anyone was going to run me down, it was you. Guess it's time I teach you my signature Mac tackle. Some people try to combine the two, called the Mackle, but I don't talk to those people anymore. <laughs> Anyways, this will boost the oomph you can put in your tackle. You'll be dragging guys down like you were born to do it. Your tackle power is increased. This will make your tackles hit harder when you strike an opponent. Oh, and I got a nice little present for you, too. Bow and everything. Oh, what the hell is a collapsible hammer? What in the world is that? I don't know, we could probably throw the tuna rice ball out. All right, we'll take that. Pop on by when you run a, want to run again. Well, we definitely can just sit here and run again. Let's see what training C is all about. Uh, it's got curves for days. Catching me is going to take every last drop in the tank. Okie dokie. We're ready to groove, Okuda-san. Just a second. All right, let's run a little bit more. And now that we have some increased tackle power, uh, we're going to get this big honking present, hopefully. 
But with the increased curves, like, I, I have a feeling it's going to be not too easy. But that'll be the fun part in a way, you know what I mean? There we go. We're using our increased tackle power. It certainly doesn't, like, super feel like it, but... Um, I definitely think it has mattered for Mac, because he's definitely feeling it. Actually, we're going to get him by the gold time, I think. Alright, so we're going to actually jump this, because I want to be a little bit more careful here. And get a little bit closer. There we go, perfect. Congratulations! New record. We did it sub-30, boys. Cool. We'll take it. You really burned my rubber out there. Well, yes, of course. Uh, another breath, a breathing technique. Think I learned this once from a guru out in the forests of India. Or was it that witch doctor in Tanzania? Heh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyway, all you gotta do is breathe even deeper than last time. Fill those lungs till it feels like they're gonna pop. Then you're golden. Our chase gauge is increased, which is awesome. But wait, there's more. You smashed the record to tiny bits, too. I always knew you were the top dog, Kiryu-san. Here, let me slip you a little something as a reward. Majima's order form. Pop on by when you run a run again. Majima's order form. Is that um a valuable item? Here, let's see. Majima's order form. Requesting weapons. Oh, interesting. It teaches us two different things here. Patriarch's bat and the Patriarch's driver. It teaches sorry, it teaches us two weapon recipes, which is nice. Let's see. Ultimate training would be kind of cool. I want to see if I can break the training record for A. That'd be really nice, actually. Let's see if we can break the record and, and get the item for it. Because I think all I got was the technique last time. So, let's see if we can get max training done in 20 seconds. Or, you know, whenever. But uh, the not sprinting there certainly doesn't help. Um, let's see. Oh, shit. We're definitely not going to get this in 20 seconds. I have no idea how somebody does this in 20 seconds. But here we are, you know? We could probably do it. Ugh. I got greedy there. I didn't think he would start back up that quickly. But can we do it sub-35? I don't think we can even do that. Damn. Oh, well. He's not going to give us anything extra for this, I'd imagine. We're probably just gonna have to wait till we max out our tackle stuff. But let's see what we can do about the ultimate training here. Uh, my final form, we gotta do the sub 50 or sub 40. Okie dokie, we're ready to groove. All right, let's see what we can do about catching him the last time here. You pumped for this, Kiryu-san? Well, you better be. I've got a big honkin' present for you if you can smash the record. We'll do what we can here. He's got quite the head start right now. But uh, let's see what we can do. He's got quite the gauge as well, and he seems to be running pretty fast. And it's a whole new course as well. Um, we probably, I was going to say, could probably take a shot here. There we go. Took a little bit of uh, slowness there. How are we supposed to beat him in less than 20 seconds than the other one? That just makes no sense to me. But we got ourselves the record in this one, so we'll take it. Is it going to be tackle power, or is it going to be an actual, like, move, I wonder? You really burned my rubber out there, Kiryu-san. I knew if anyone was going to run me down, it was you. You know, I got this fancy breathing technique I could teach you. I think I learned it from one of the monks in Tibet. Or maybe it was one of the shamans in the Amazon. Eh, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, all you got to do is breathe in real deep. Imagine you're a fleshy balloon full of nothing but clean mountain air. And then you're done. Our chase gauges went up. But wait, there's more! You smashed the record to tiny bits, too. I always knew you were the top dog, Kiryu-san. Here, let me slip you something as a reward. Max Talisman. Reduces the amount of heat lost when hit. That's actually kind of insane. Um, Let's throw the crystal ball away. Well, not away, but into our item thing. Can we... We've done the ultimate training. How the hell do we do this training... In a ranked fashion. I'm going to try it one more time. And then I'll break for the episode. Because we've done quite a bit already. But how in the world do we do this sub 20? But we'll find out. We're going to try to be a little bit more aggressive on the corners here. Like this. And uh, we're doing a little bit better here. 
Like that. See, like that fucked us up there. I don't think we would have gotten it. We would have gotten damn close. But we think I think we take the silver there. I think we can do this. So we probably had one and like a step or a step and a half before we hit him earlier there. All right, let's see here. Radiant sword. We're gonna spend that. Pop by when we did we get the full record here? We did. Okay, so we have all the trainings done so far. Who knows if we're gonna get more? Let's actually go and check our completion to see. Mini games. Coliseum we've done, heat actions, probably that doesn't, it's not what we're looking for here. Um, wouldn't be under revelations. Wouldn't be under sub stories either, I'd imagine. Right? It's definitely not under there. Alright, well I guess it's fine. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, we could level up if we really wanted to here too. Maybe we should level up our soul. Because that'll help us with uh, Minamina, I think his name is. That professor guy. But uh, either way, we're going to level up to full 7 next time. Because I don't want to wait for 75. We did all the run stuff, which is pretty cool. So uh, I think since we've done that, this would be a perfect time to take a break. And uh, hop into some more fun stuff next time. We can probably just do an episode of minigames uh, in the next episode. So thank thanks so much for watching my Let's Play of... Yakuza 3 Remastered. My name is DuffKing56. I'll see you guys later. Peace out and bye-bye.